Hey everybody, it's Michael. I got a question um, recently about how do you end the row of your Baptist fans, and I realized I had never shot a video on that, and I told her, hey, that's a good question. Um, maybe someone else has that same question, and I kind of just <laughs> I kind of just let everybody figure it out on their own, and I realized that's probably not nice. So, uh, so what I'm talking about is, um, like on this one, I have stitched from bottom to top. You know, that's my favorite way, um, and it's easy to start, and you you do your rows. But then, what do you do when you get to the end? That's not a complete Baptist fan there, right? It's it gets cut off, and it gets cut off here. So her question was valid, and um, this video is showing you how you handle that. So I hope you enjoy, and if you already have the fan set, great. Let me know how it's going with that. Um, I'd like to improve on it, and I think there's a couple more marks I can put on it, like we talked about, like where we do our backtracking and where we do our travel. But if you haven't gotten the set, um, I think it's a great set if you want to do your own Baptist fans. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get the rhythm down, this didn't take me hardly any time at all to get this part done. Um, and it's so popular, and I think it's really um, satisfying to do. And um, it's always been one of my favorite patterns to quilt. So anyhow, um, the set is available on my website, which I don't know if you know, but when you go to my website, you end up getting directed to my Etsy shop. It's just much easier to purchase um, from there. So I've got this, I've got my other rulers there and some fabric and a few um, quilting supplies and some fabrics that I like. But anyhow, here, let's get to the video. I'm gonna show you how I did this, okay? Okay, so I'm approaching the end of this row. I know there's gonna be partials here, so. You really just um, pretend like you're stitching out the whole set. But on this particular quilt, we're pretending like there is a boundary here, whether that be that there's a border and we're just doing Baptist fans on the inside, or perhaps this is the edge of the quilt. But really, when it's the edge of the quilt, you can quilt the whole design outside of it and then trim it down, so it doesn't really matter there. But let's say you just don't have any more room to go. So we're gonna do it this way. <clears throat> so I've done the three, I've done the five. I'm working on the seven now. Matching up my lines. Okay, so I got down there with the seven. Now the nine, I can already see, I'm not gonna be able to travel over far enough. What I need to do is see where the nine is going to fall. So at this point, I know that I'm about a half an inch short <coughs> of creating the um, bottom right side of number nine here. So I need to guesstimate and I need to travel up. You can break thread here if you want to, but um, I'm gonna travel up and whatever this quilt, if this was the border, this will be stitching in the ditch. I didn't do great, but anyway, I'm going to go wherever I think it's close to where I can match up my lines. Remember, we're always matching up our lines. And there's where I match. So I overshot it, so I'm just going to come down. Once I get to the ruler, now it's time to go up. We'll continue the top like we always do. Here's our 11, and we're going to put our 11 in. And it's simply a matter of stopping when we get to where we need to stop. I know the problem is that bottom part. It's um, how to do that. What do you do when you run out here? Um, let's take that idea a little bit further, too. So, say, what if your quilt stopped here? And so I mean, like, you finished this arc, um, but you still had this blank space. So you don't even have room to start your three. 
so you just have to pretend like you do <laughs> and you kind of just have to um you know take your machine and go to where you think you need to start stitching for that three but you're not actually going to stitch because you're off of the quilt right so you could put your you could put your template down i'm sorry i'm having trouble seeing um and then you know, oh, okay, I have to come in here. See that line of stitching above my finger? You just have to kind of put it down and kind of um, know where to go in. So you would have um, traveled in the ditch up here or you could have broken thread or whatever. But you would start here. So in you go, then you go up and then you just stop and you just have to um, complete it as if it were actually there. So I know that seems kind of challenging at first, but I think you'll really get the idea once you've done this a few times. So basically, this is how this looks. This is how it's supposed to look. Um, so I'm going to go back and start the next row, and I'll do some quilting there, and then I'm going to get to the uh, point again where we stop here, just because I know that you, some of you have wanted to see that. Okay, so here we go with some more. Okay, I'm starting on the second row. Remember, we're gonna match up the vertical line and then the previous row dot, dot, dot stitches right there. Just like always, down, up, down, up, down, unless you are quilting from the top to the bottom. Okay, there's our three, here's our five. I know you've seen a lot of this before, so um, I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, <clears throat> we're getting close, close to the end. So here we go. Three. And the five. If you haven't seen um, the original video, and you're really um, interested in this set, I would watch it because I go through much slower and make sure that you're on track with marking, um, I mean, with looking at these lines that are marked on the, on the set. And um, when I'm doing my Baptist fans, I still love <laughs> when I use these rulers because I love that the lines always match up. And I am easily amused. Um, <laughs> so, Anyway, I am matching up lines, but I'm not walking you through each size here and telling you what I'm doing anymore because I know some of you have gotten sick of listening to that. <laughs> so there are several other videos on this set. And there's one that I posted where I draw it also. So you get to see it drawn out on poster board 
before we stitch. Okay, so this is the last full design. And now it's very similar to what we had at the bottom. So let's just see how this works. And it's just the same. Um, thank you, Emerson. <laughs> so we've got the three. Hey, Em, can you be quiet for a minute? I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm sure he hears a delivery person or something. Here's the seven. Okay, so the nine is my next one, but it's not going to fit there. So travel over what you can, and now you're going to guesstimate. And it looks like I can put it here. So I can't just stitch around here because then I'll be outside of that line. But this is where it's going to go. So I know I'm shooting for my hopping foot to land right about there and if I wanted to I could put a mark so let's see if I have something to mark with okay so I'm just gonna put a little blue mark be gone close to where I think it's gonna be I think we're shooting for there okay so I can either break thread and stop and then start up here or I could travel up to that spot so let's just travel And on your quilt, you would do your best to travel in the ditch or stitch right over the line from before. Okay, now we have our nine. And it's um, fitting where it needs to fit. So we stitch it out. We're in the home stretch. We get our 11. And you know, um, sometimes you can plan this out. If you design your quilt, you know you're going to do this Baptist fan. You can plan it out to know exactly how many you're going to get. But I just like to see where it ends up. I don't really care where it ends up. This is where it ends up today. See that? And I stitched over a few times. So that's that's how we finish on the sides. Um, no matter where you are in the set okay I hope that was um, helpful to you and um, I apologize for not putting a video out sooner on that so just hadn't thought of it um, <laughs> but it's an obvious question okay so that's it for now and um, I've got some more videos coming up soon so hope everyone is doing well and I will see you again next time bye bye